All right, folks, let's learn how to measure the average time spent on a page using Mixpanel. To get started, I'm going to open up an Insights report by clicking on the Reports button, top left of the screen, and then selecting Insights from the dropdown. Notice that in this example, we're using the e-commerce demo data that comes for free with every instance of Mixpanel. This is just fictional data for a fictional e-commerce product, and it's there really only for learning purposes. Now, in order to measure this average time spent on page, you need either a page view or screen view event that triggers on every page view if you have a web app or every screen view if you have a mobile app. Here, I'm going to use page view because that's what comes with this data set. So if I start searching for it, you see page view here. The description here explains that this is actually is an event that Mixpanel's SDK can track for you automatically. It has a parameter that you can turn on. Um, and so you turn that on and Mixpanel sort of auto-generates this page view event for you. And this is how this instance is um, tracked. Now, you can also track it more directly using code snippets that track every page view or screen view event, that's totally fine. They're just two different ways of tracking the same thing. As long as you have an event that tracks for every page view or every screen view, you're gonna get the same results. By the way, later in the video, I'll show you an alternate method that can be used to measure time spent on a page if you don't have this type of event, regardless of how you've tracked it. All right, once the event is loaded, we see the unique number of users that have had a page view. So in order to change this to average time spent on page, we click on unique users, select aggregate property from the dropdown. Then we go with aggregate by average because we wanna find the average time spent on page. And then when it says, okay, what should I average? Notice there's a duration option here. If you don't see it right there, you can also just search for it. This is a uh, calculated property that Mixpanel generates itself. You don't need to track it uh, specifically. Notice it says in the description, you know, this is the duration between two consecutive instances of an event. And so it works really well for events that trigger continuously like page view or screen view. So you just go ahead and select that. And this tells you the average duration in minutes of time spent on pages within our fictional product. Now, in pretty much all cases, this general metric isn't very useful. You wanna look at it for specific pages. So to do that, I can come over here to page, uh, to breakdown and select page name. This is pretty messy, but it did the job. So I will come over to the top right of the screen and switch it from a line chart to a bar chart. And there you go. This shows the time spent on each of these pages. If you wanna look at an individual page, you just move this pill over here to the filter and you select the page that you care about. In this case, the About Us page. And there you go. That's a very easy method of measuring time spent on page. Now for the alternate method, this one actually uses a funnel report. So I'm gonna open that up. Again, we go to reports, we select funnels. I'm gonna switch this to funnel steps in case it's not there already. In this case, it was already on funnel steps. Uh, and so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a specific page view event for my first action. So I'll add a little filter here and say page name you know, about us. And then I'll pick a different page by adding a different filter to the second one. This time it's the contact page. Okay, so this now shows conversion from the about us page to the contacts page. And you'll notice that underneath, there's an average time from previous step metric that shows the average time it's taken for people to convert between this action and this action. So yes, what we're getting here is not specifically time spent on the About Us page. It's actually time between About Us and specifically the contact page, which is not exactly what we want, but it is a pretty good alternative for it that actually tells us exactly you know, how long people take when they want to go to a specific destination, which I'd argue is actually most useful in most cases. So if you don't happen to have you know, this type of general page view, instead you have events for individual pages, this is the way that you can go about doing that instead. These are both options. Either one will get you an easy way to measure a very popular metric, which is time spent on page. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna get really good at product analytics as a whole, check out the link in the video description for an online course that covers metrics, slip testing, analysis, and pretty much every skill you need to learn to become a product analytics expert, through your product manager, analyst, or even a startup CEO.